cool what's going what's happening a lot so anyway i just wanted to come on here to explain my experience of going to the shop in these horrendous pandemic times so i went to the shop the other day and i realized a lot of things I realize that people are still completely oblivious to what is going on right now. People are still out here shopping, going out in pairs, in twos and threes, you know, having a good old funky, funky time, okay? People are still out here holding hands and, you know, if you're holding hands, it's like people can't go past you. Like if you're in a shopping center and there's like not a lot of space, if you're holding hands, you're taking up a lot of space and people are trying to do the social distancing thing, which is six feet or one and a half meters apart from each other. It's very hard when two people are like Siamese twins, like together like that. But also their advice for us to go out just alone. If you're gonna do grocery shopping, which a lot of people are doing, a lot of people are going once a week or twice a week, or some are not going at all. But if you're doing it, at least try and go by yourself. Because if there's two of you, it naturally slows you down. It naturally like, you know, you start to, you start to think of life as being normal, as being like what it used to be. And the fact of the matter is that it's not like that. So we need to, we need to really adapt. We need to really, really adapt and know that this thing is serious. In some of these shops, they will keep announcing, keep your distance from each other, shop alone, all these type of things. What I also noticed is that some of these shops have like tape on the floor to put that distance there so that you can see, okay, if I'm in a queue, I need to stand this far away from somebody else. And an interesting thing about that is that, look, some of these things that are being implemented now should have been implemented ages and ages and ages ago. This distance that we're creating now at the till is the most incredible, amazing, Thing. Why? Because this should have been implemented a long time ago. Theft has always been a thing. People have always, these crooks have always been crooking and have always been looking over like elderly people or even not elderly people. They look over, you know, when they're putting their code in, when they're paying by card, they look over and then they find some excuse, follow them home or follow them wherever, get their card and go and deduct money illegally from their card. So this distance thing has always been something that I would have preferred. And I'm sure a lot of you can agree to that. Like people would just be like, you're paying, you're buying your stuff. And as you're packing your stuff, the next person is already like, <laughs> like behind you like that like eager to to get their stuff dealt with when your stuff is all over the conveyor belt and you're still packing it that's why i like what they do in the uk they let you pack in before they let somebody else like the cashier would just sit there like this and maybe say hi how are you doing you're all right and then the other person would just be like yeah and they'll have a chat about the day or whatever and then you're like quickly frantically packing in your stuff but in other places it's not like that and as soon as they're done bleeping your stuff they actually start bleeping somebody else's stuff and they shift the conveyor belt divider um to to push your stuff to one side and that but still uh it, it doesn't really keep that distance because if you're gonna start bleeping somebody else's thing then the person is gonna start coming closer and closer to you breathing on you coughing on you sneezing on you these were all things that were already happening so the one and a half meter distance is amazing i like it i love it that's one thing then they have these visor things that with some quickness all these supermarkets and stores started having this plastic like massive visor thing in front of in front of the cashiers so that at least they're a little bit protected it's amazing and then the other day i saw that the receipt the thing that the receipt comes out of they actually put it on top like there's this thing on top whereas before the cashier had it kind of like underneath and they would have to tear it off and give it to the people but now uh you, you know they just put it on top so when you're finished the other day the one was like you want to receive this and that and i was like yeah and then she was like okay and she just looked at the thing and she was just kind of like and i was like oh doop, and took it which is great a lot of them are wearing gloves which is great but again gloves i've always had this thing like even in restaurants when some people wear gloves <laughs> see i was gonna touch my face there i'm trying really not to touch my face like even if i have a hit itch i'm like whatever and sometimes i just <sighs> <laughs> blow that itch away I ain't got no time to be touching my face because whatever you do at home that becomes a habit out there so whatever you're doing at home shake it lose it do not touch your face on period and wash your hands a lot so when you're out there out and about you do not touch your face and when you get the chance you wash your hands a lot out there as well these are some good hygiene lessons that we're learning that we should have known but I guess we never knew how nasty and disgusting everybody was because all of a sudden everybody is a hygiene hygiene lover anyway um, I digress what was I talking about yeah so they have the gloves there yeah so with the gloves in the restaurants 
some restaurants will have or is it restaurants or like some of these shops where you can get things maybe nuts or maybe meat and they have the gloves but i've seen some places they have gloves or this is maybe in some countries they'll have gloves and do things deal with your food and then go and be touching go and be touching money and be giving you the money with the same gloves or be doing something with their hair with the same gloves or be touching their face with the same gloves so then it defeats the purpose of the gloves but if you have a lot of the gloves which is also kind of in short demand right now but if you have a lot of them every now and again you have to keep changing because also they keep sweating even the ones with like the powder inside they still sweat because it's just unnatural for our hands to be in these things so anyway they have the lines on the floor to keep the distance um social distancing thing to enforce that the cashiers are wearing gloves the cashiers are protected by the visors and they're protecting themselves um and they're protecting us i mean with the visors as well it goes both ways but what i realized is that some stores actually first of all nobody has masks so the visors are the next best thing but then some stores don't even have the visor things for the cashiers some of the cheaper shops they just don't have that for their for their personal for their for their employees which is really really sad and really really unfair also another thing that i've realized we're talking about social social distancing and we in the shop are doing it like i saw i was i was in a store and then some guy like it was like the aisle like this and i I was there and he just kind of run across me as if he he was like oh my gosh i can't really keep my distance from this girl because it was like really there wasn't enough space so he was like Shoo, just like that and i was like yo people see i just touched my face there people i was like yo people are taking this very 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 seriously very seriously and people are also scared like i saw one guy with a mask um a lot of people don't have masks so you see them put their scarf around them it's all well and dandy but people are just taking the shopping thing like they're so tired probably of being in the house that when they get out there they make Maybe just forget about what's going on this pandemic that we're in I don't know but people are just taking their sweet time I saw people stand in the middle of an aisle just like what else was on my list now nah, I'm not gonna get it out of my pocket because I'm trying to remember things so let me think what was on my list meanwhile you're like my friend get out of here like they're standing bang on in the middle of the aisle they should get out of there so that other people can have the chance to to you know maneuver themselves that's one. Another thing I saw was somebody just standing in front of the, the fridge like, hmm, which of these things should I take? Touching it? Nah. Touching it? Hmm. Putting it back? Taking it. And I'm standing there, one and a half meters away, trying to buy the same thing. But because you're there occupying the space, it's like, I'm, I'm not just standing. We're all just in the same airspace, which is what you do not want. I guess another thing that I really wanted to mention but failed to mention is that the people that are stocking up, they are working in very, very close proximity to each other so that's not really good either now i haven't been back to the supermarket in a long 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 time but i hope that has changed because they too need to keep their distance from each other like everybody's got to do it and then i saw the craziest thing there was a cat walking this is a stray cat walking around to do to do to do walking kind of towards a lady the lady is walking the lady could have kind of just kept on walking but the lady stopped talked to the cat and then stroked the cat why you know that if that cat has some hachu or <laughs> on them from wherever from whoever and that person is sick and you start stroking the cat guess what it's not all on your hands and this woman was not wearing gloves nothing and next thing you know might be touching her face and oh my goodness it's it's actually a mess it's a mess it's a mess out there and when i'm out there i can't even like breathe properly or whatever because i feel like i feel like ugh, i feel so icky yicky and oh yeah there was another woman who was coughing she was coughing really like she exaggerated like and you could hear like it's coming from here and i was like is this a smoker or is this woman really ill or does she just have the normal flu or does she have that rona i don't know what's going on but everybody stopped time actually froze and everybody was like but why why why, why are you here so if you have a cough please don't go out there depending on where you are like i don't know man they might just quarantine you i don't know but stay safe out there do not go out too many times go out for fresh produce i mean where i am the luro is still gone so some people were like, yeah, why is everybody buying Luro? I guess if everybody bought enough for themselves, it would have been great because everybody would have had enough. I can imagine some people are now literally sitting with their last roll thinking, what the heck am I going to do? Because there's absolutely none. There's also no flour and no pasta and no rice. These are things that are just not there. It is so, so bad. Let's just keep praying. Let's keep this entire world and all our family and friends and everything in our prayer. And let's pray that we, we, we get out the other end and we learn so much and that humanity becomes better for all of this because oh, it, it's really tough it's really tough and now i'm gonna go and watch the news keep myself informed not freak out but keep myself informed and come on here and be yeah just sharing information and thoughts with you guys because so much is going on i just need to i just need to talk to you guys i just need to share it all 
but anyway stay safe don't go outside if you don't do absolutely not if you don't need to if you don't need to go outside do not go just go for essentials go maybe as early as possible or maybe later on in the evening I don't know if that works but in the afternoon and especially when the weather is this great which it is because it's spring hallelujah thank you Jesus it's spring so people are out there kids are playing I can hear them play I could hear a whistle of like a football match uh, going on outside and I could hear some guys and I was like I don't know what y'all doing but for those of you watching this stay safe stay home alone together and um let's flatten this curve anyway whatever you do make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right and i'll see you in the next video god bless bye wash your hands stay sarah stay safe and stay sterile